Hello, Spinner94 here. Glad to meet you now. And welcome to actually a Wiggly Tough sweep. We're not quite sure if this is a sweep or not, if it's Battle Royale. But the thing is, I did take out technically someone's entire team with just the Wiggly Tough, so arguments for and against, really. Yeah, I would say it was a sweep because, to be honest, it, you only used one Pokemon and he just literally just dominated. Yeah, but I couldn't have asked for a better setup in this one, so let's jump in and see how it all plays out. Oh, yeah. So we jump into this Royale here, and basically, as soon as I see a Salamence, I'm like, the Salamence is such a popular lead because of Intimidate. And people love leading Intimidate Mon, so back, even back in Oras, I used to bring this Wigglytuff along, and it's like, okay, I'm going to set up. So if someone does lead off with said Salamence, Trevenant, I lead off with Hugby Bro, my amazing little Wigglytuff set. Yes, yeah, and we've got a blue Ditto, which is pretty rare. Yeah. It was interesting to see the Ditto as well, but unfortunately, the Ditto kind of contributes to everybody's downfall here. Mm -hmm. So, seeing the Trevenant interesting as well, I'm like, this Trevenant can potentially screw me over. Um, Will-O-Wisp isn't as big as a threat to me anymore because it's only the 116, so I do get the competitive boost there, so now I'm at plus two. I'm modest, so I'm a max attacking Wigglytuff, so I'm pretty much set up from there. Yeah, then Trevenant uses Protect to protect yourself, and... We also summoned his double edge. A double edge attack was quite surprising, I thought. Mm, I wondered if it was meant to be a mega one, but either way, it would have killed the, the Ditto if it actually mega evolved. But unfortunately, yep. this thing transforms into a the oh, Salamence here, so Intimidate on the other Salamence, but unfortunately, an Intimidate on me as well. So it's yeah. like, I get you trying to screw over the Trevenant, but it's like now you've just given Wigglytuff all he needs to do this, yes. essentially. So oh, yeah. Trevenant can live for this turn. Can't live through this. Nope. Plus four, Salamence not really going to live. Yep, and both of them taking out in one shot. Mm. The worst thing is I do have Ice Beam on this as well, highly considering replacing it with Flamethrower. Yeah. So we got a Caputo, which is rare. We don't normally see yeah, that. We don't see a lot of them on stream, which is interesting to see. Now we're bringing the Depositor here, which is um, a Tyranitar. Yeah. So obviously with that, I'm at plus four. This Tyranitar probably should have brought Protect along. Could you talk to uses a Ice Beam? No, I can't recommend that at all. No, no, no. Um, waterfall, something like that yeah. instead. So EQ is going to connect virtually on everybody. It doesn't do too much to make up the one third damage. Doesn't do too much to tops either because it's very defensive. Yeah. And then yet again, you're about to unleash hell again with that blinking dazzle game again. So weak armor gets the the defense down. X's are going on that, going for the super effective here. Yeah. So what I do find interesting, I'm at plus four now. So I go yeah. for a dazzling gleam. Obviously with 33%, not enough to kill the Trevenant. The Tyranitar actually just lives, which I do find surprising as well. So yeah. Then he uses a Citrus Berry. Mm. So it's a classic Harvard set here. It's going to spawn itself another Citrus Berry, get back even more health after all the Sandstorm shenanigans kick yeah. off. But as I say, I'm still a plus four, so I've taken out two of the, uh, the other guys who's opposite me, who I believe is Chris here. Yeah, the poor guy was like, you just literally just beasting it. Bought a lot of things that were quite weak to fairy, by the looks of it. Especially this thing, four yeah. times weak, so it's like, yeah. I might have the game in this bag here, but everyone could outspeed and for some reason no one instantly targeted me down which i suppose yeah. is nice so osseus comes in here osseus is going to be able to take one hit from that yeah. trevenant obviously withdrawing here but into the rayquaza is not the best i mean don't get yeah. me wrong rayquaza has got a bit of bulk but mm. Mm. and and to be honest here this is also in my view i think this is happy to see you know a Wigglytuff, who's a no Pokemon, just doing the yeah, business. Yeah, PU Pokemon took out the most Ubers, Ubers of Mons. Yeah. Um, Pangoro, I'm not sure what Pangoro is. I think it might be NU. So, yeah. down goes Rayquaza, which is definitely Ubers. Yeah. Um, Arceus took quite a bit of a hit there. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much a Wigglytuff sweep. Yeah, it was just like, it was just like yeah, Wigglytuff just went beast mode. Yeah, so that's it. If you enjoyed the sweep, remember to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah. hope to see you in more vids. Bye.